So this painting is Rue Clignancourt in the 18th arrondissement in Paris. I've painted this painting um, during last summer. Um, I used to, basically it's very close to where my studio is and it was very comfortable. It, well, it was an ideal situation in the sense that I can um, pack all my, uh, all my material for paint, painting and just in a, a short distance, 100 meters, 200 meters, I could install uh, my easel and start painting. And so it, it was kind of like having um, uh, my studio outside uh, in the landscape while I'm doing the landscape. And so the majority of the painting was done on the spot in front of the, the urban um, landscape. And um, I, I used over here a more classical technique. I did start with a underpainting and um, I used a lot of perspective and uh, calculations to be precise and to truly build a, uh, a cohesive, a coherent kind of landscape uh, image. There's plenty of details in the painting. You re need to really approach the painting closely in order to see all the different marks and, and colors and, and um, details. Um, and uh, I think that's like in this painting, I think uh, one of the most pleasure pleasurable uh, experiences is the capacity to be able to zoom in, to really come as close as you can until the painting basically falls apart into abstract uh, shapes and forms until your nose practically almost touches the painting and then back off until the abstract little shapes and forms become a, a, a solid uh, landscape uh, which is even kind of uh, realistic or even hyper realistic and um, I think that's that's uh, one of the things I love to do the most or, or one of the moments I love the most in painting is that moment where you're basically you're um, in between the creation and the reality or where suddenly something abstract becomes real uh, and I think in this painting it's I basically conserve this this moment where it's very vital it's very uh, alive and yet it's not slavish it's not overworked or it's not overabundant with details and information it's kind of um, a mix of the two. Uh, it was a pleasure to make it and um, I hope it's a pleasure for you too to, to look at it.